It's a roller coaster ride for Nigeria in the real estate industry, as the sector has witnessed remarkable growth and challenges. Amid disturbing cases of quackery and attendant collapsed buildings, the governor of Edo State, Godwin Obaseki, has urged Nigerian Institute of Estate Surveyors and Valuers to ensure best practices and use of technology. At the inauguration of a new national headquarters for the institution in Abuja, Governor Obaseki and experts stress the need for professionals to leverage on technology to modernize the real estate uh, industry and attract foreign investment. Let's share this story by TVC News' uh, Habida Lawa. Let's go there. The real estate industry in Nigeria has witnessed remarkable growth over the years, transforming into a dynamic and vibrant sector. Despite its growth, the real estate industry in Nigeria faces several challenges, including limited access to financing, inadequate infrastructure, land use issues, and bureaucratic bottlenecks pose obstacles to development. Um, President of the Nigerian Institution of Estate Surveyors and Valuers, John Bull Anaevo, believes these challenges also present opportunities for innovation and investment. The rising middle class, increasing urbanization, and a growing need for affordable housing create a fertile ground for real estate entrepreneurs and investors to explore untapped markets. Advocacy, advocacy, we we'll still be doing that. I will still be doing our normal training. We have various trainings for our members. Then we we'll keep engaging the government or all, all agencies, you know, on the issue of fighting corruption. Incidentally, at the NIPS uh, where I'm attending right now, my topic is asset valuation as a tool to fighting corruption. For Edo State Governor Godwin Obaseki, he says foreign direct investment has played a crucial role in the modernization of Nigeria's real estate sector. International investors bring capital, expertise and best practices, driving innovation and raising industry standards. The dire economic situation which we find ourselves today in the wider economy, such as inflation and the attendant increased cost of living, will have impacts on the work which you do as professionals. In fact, the raging debates on the price of commodities, especially in building materials, demand even more ingenuity from members of this great institution. Improving market transparency and data availability will be key focus in the coming years. While appreciating the role of the Nigerian institution of estate surveyors and valuers in the development of the Nigerian's real estate sector, it is worthy to also note that the country is currently contending with a number of issues in the built environment such as quackery, building collapses, as well as real estate scams. Habib Alawal, TVC News, Abuja. All right, thank you, Habida. Uh, so it's time we stopped playing catch up. Yes. I, I rather like the the I, reference to uh, I, using technology and all that. Yes. To enhance the business, there the were, sector. There were some some of the things that they said that uh, were not even captured in the reports. You know, in the two and a half minute story, you can't see everything. Mm. One of the big takeaways for me from this event was the realization that through that sector we can actually even attract foreign direct investment. Investors are coming into Nigeria and investing in our assets. Even the CBN admitted that it is one of the reasons they now they are experiencing improved liquidity that added to um, diaspora remittances. remittances, yes. Because the Naira is weak at this time. More and more diasporans, more and more Nigerians uh, based on working abroad are sending in money. Yeah. So we are getting a lot more 
diaspora. Yes, 43 chances. Somebody was asking the question on Facebook. Say, ah, let's ask them who, where they said they have paid the <laughs> uh, forest backlog. Uh, where are they getting the money from? Whereas even in the press statement, they mentioned, <laughs> because some are too lazy to read even a short story to its end. They are speculating, ah, where are they getting the Let's ask them who, uh, where are they getting the money from? And they, they stated it there. Foreign injection of capital into our economy is improving. The uh, diaspora remittance is improving. Yeah. Because people can see that this is the time to actually send in money because you are going to get for, for, for the currency is weaker now. Yeah. Uh -huh. So that was that. So at this event, they were told that look. You need to modernize your processes. You need to embrace best practices so that the real estate sector in Nigeria can become attractive even to foreign investors. And it's possible. Especially in this area, in these days, when we talk about housing deficits, you know, across the country. Yes. Yeah. The foreigners can come and invest in that sector. Mm. In Kenya, foreigners came to invest in their media. You can imagine, that's why Kenya has the best uh, media sector in terms of the um, quality of what they do than other countries of the world. Mm. Before the um, CNN Multi-Choice Award was uh, stopped, the Kenyans were dominating. They will dominate TV category, dominate in the print. Leave the crumbs for others. <laughs> because the media sector in their country had improved tremendously because of the coming of foreigners to invest in the media. Who says we can't have a situation like that in Nigeria? If we clean up our act and we make things better, who says they cannot come and invest in, in the media in Nigeria? Mm. It's the same thing that we are talking about with the uh, real estate sector, they have to take collection of data seriously. They have to take technology seriously, leverage on technology to improve the way they do things. They have to eliminate quackery. Mm. Why are buildings collapsing? People don't want to use those who are qualified. Yeah. And when buildings want to spend collapse, money. yes, when buildings build. collapse, take away the license of the engineers and other people involved. Take away their license, punish them. We didn't do that even with the with the um, uh, synagogue church collapse, mm. Mm. because the coroner's report showed clearly that they the didn't the, the, that the structure was well, defective. Weak. And why would the structure be defective? The blame has to be shared between the regulators and the uh, contractors and other people yeah. hired. You saw when that high-rise building gave way on Lagos Island. Yeah, yeah. The, I think uh, uh, the Nigerian uh, architects as a group were very angry. They complained that even the way the building was planned, it was inevitable that it would come down. Hmm. So. What I'm, where I'm driving at, if we clean up our arts, if we embrace technology, we embrace best global practices, even in that sector, foreign investment will come in. That sector will become more vibrant, and the players will have the chance to even make more money. But we are always reluctant to take those big steps, mm. you know? Yet we want... Big results. The Chinese, when when people were talking about taking big steps, the Chinese said, "No, we will take giant leap." <laughs> that was what the Chinese said many years ago, and we can see that the Chinese indeed took giant yeah. leaps instead of taking giant steps. Yeah. You know, so we must not uh, um, limit ourselves because the capacity is there, and this yeah. is a great country. You have market for virtually everything. Everything, the, 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 the real estate, everything. Emeka, you, you know, when 
people outside and some on the inside who know, say we are a sleeping giant, they know what they're saying. Well, uh, well, okay. I, 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 I concede it to them, but I think the giant is not really sleeping. It's just that um, we are underwhelming in many areas. We, part of the problem too is the technical capacity. We, have, we are deficient in technical capacity in many things. If you look at our budgets, <clears throat> for instance, you see them littered with projects. But look at the ministries that are expected to implement these projects. They don't have the technical capacity. Mm. They don't have the requisite numbers of staff. They may not even have staff in certain areas to do these things. But you just litter the budget with projects, and then you go and see some of the projects. They are just halfway done and abandoned. Mm. Then we do again also look at the critical issues. Look at this uh, built industry, for instance. You know, one problem with building collapse is that Nigerians will like to follow the trend. The trend is that okay, people are you know high rise, you know high rise buildings, multi story buildings will fetch you a lot of money. So the co people compromise the strength. Yes, yeah, they compromise the strength. Mm. of the decking of the slabs. They compromise the kind of iron, the kind of iron rods to be used, the quantity of cement to be used. You will hear people making the argument now that bamboo, the use of bamboo is better than, <laughs> uh, uh, than, than, than the use of iron rods. Well, I think oh, it's safer. As, as reinforcement? As, <laughs> as, as, yes, for, to, for decking. I haven't, the argument has been, has been raging online. I, I thought maybe you know? they were... Thinking of using it for scaffolding. No, no, scaffolding, no, no. They've been using it for scaffolding. I'm talking of for decking instead of iron rods. It's been a training topic. But, um, Emeka, can and, you, and can, you, can, you can you rationalize that? Can you can you actually are, use that as? No, there are people engineers who have made arguments for it, but there are engineers who have said no, that it is better to still stick with iron rods. Now, what kind of iron rods? Where you are supposed to use? We are supposed to use 12 mm, 16 mm. You see people using 10 mm. You see the, 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 the thickness, cost. the thickness, and all of that. Yes, and mm. many a time it's the owners who cause this problem. It's not even the contractors. It's the owners. They say, oh, "No, no, no. I want to spread my resources across. I want to launch this estate." They've already got. You know, you don't have enough money to develop an estate. You've gone on radio and TV. You're either advertising that so and so estate, so 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 and so and so. You people have started subscribing and And then you disappear. You disappear. Uh -huh. You uh -huh. want to make money. So you just quickly set up one or two some structures to get more money. You need to and they are and they are those, defective. Those fake people on the yeah, they are defective. So government must also look at the look beyond just the practitioners in the industry to yeah. owners. Mm. To the investor. You must vet the investors. You must vet the owners. To be sure of their motives. When, when the quacks take over, they, they, they are going to mess yeah. more, more things up. So a lot us. of things. Where you know, for instance, you can do better with bungalows. With bungalows. Why are you now pushing to have story buildings? Yeah. Where you know you cannot put in the so required you know, the room. A building that the foundation, the superstructure was not meant to carry mm. different floors or multiple floors. You now decided on your own to introduce. You, you, you that you, was what you, happened with the synagogue. That's it. Yes, it was, I was going there. You know, meant to take it a, a floor, to, but to, they, to, they, to they you know, raised it. To friends floor. of the owner may come and say, "I don't want you look at the foundation. Are you going to just stop at three stories? This foundation can carry up to seven stories, so that you make more money, hmm. and then they compromise quality, integrity, and human lives." Okay, but but I, I know that you can't cheat and get a, get away scot free. You cannot cheat and get it because science is proving to us that what's wrong is wrong. wrong. What's right is right. right. 